Hey, what's going on YouTube? Tech and Tweaks back again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at five more tweaks that you can put on your jailbroken device. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, this first tweak we're going to take a look at is called Colorful. And basically what it allows you to do is go ahead and have a custom gradient on certain aspects of iOS. So for example, if you take a look at my folders, you'll notice that it is black and white and it animates. Also my spotlight search does the same thing. If we go over to the phone real quick, you can see that the phone also does it. I've adjusted the colors accordingly. But basically what this allows you to do is customize just certain little aspects of your iOS device. You can also do the 3D menu to whatever color that you want. I also done the calculator. So if we hop over to the settings of this tweak, for example, if we go to Springboard, Folder Background, I've just enabled one color for the gradient and then a secondary color that it will animate between. If it has this gradient animation, then it will do the animation right here, like it is doing here. Some of the options don't have the gradient animation, but I've been running this tweak on my device since it came out, and I have not noticed uh, impact on battery life, so that's a plus. You can also adjust the status bar. You can adjust a bunch of different things. There's tons of options to configure. And another amazing feature of this tweak is you can set it for a light mode and a dark mode. I'm in dark mode the majority of the time, so I've only set up the dark mode. But like I said, it looks pretty awesome on different aspects of iOS. I like the gradient feature. You can also adjust your settings panel and the click. So when I select something, you've noticed that it is a cyan. Also, my scrolling bar is green, as you can see right here. That will also animate in a gradient, and my home bar is also green. That's all thanks to this tweak right here called Colorful. This next tweak that I have for you is called a DLG Memer Injector. So basically what this does is it allows you to hack games, pretty much. That's the main function of it. So I'll go ahead and show you how it works. So if we enable it for the application that we want to hack, for example, Brick Breaker Quest. We'll go over here to Brick Breaker Quest, open it up. So real quick, you can go ahead and buy these gems, but if you don't want to actually pay for them, you can go ahead and use the DLG tool. All right, so if you notice right here, that is the number of gems that I have. So in order to get an outrageous number for your game, you'll notice that you have the little DLG flotation device right here. So if we go ahead and tap on that, all we would need to do is type that number into the search. So 9110411, type into the search. It'll pull up maybe anywhere from 5 to 20 different items. What you're going to want to do now is go ahead and make a purchase. So we'll purchase this for 300. You notice how that number has now changed. What we'll do now is go ahead and search for the new number. So 9110111. Search, this will narrow down your search and all you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and manually change each one of these to whatever number you want. So say you want nines. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure that you change all of the numbers to the exact same number, otherwise it probably will not work. Go ahead and tap OK on all of them. And now, in order for it to enable, you may have to make another purchase. So as you can see, I made another purchase and all of them changed to nines minus the purchase amount. But anyways guys, this should work on any non-server side games, so Subway Surfers or anything like that. Something like Clash of Clans, Anything that is server related currency probably will not work with this, but something simple like Temple Run or just offline games, anything like that, this DLG member should work perfectly fine. It's a great little hack tool. Anyways, guys, go ahead and check this it out. The next tweak that I have for you guys is called Penny. It basically brings iOS 14's pin feature from messages over to your jailbroken device. 
The great thing about this tweak is it is 100% free. So you can have two different styles. You can have compact or normal. So if we do the compact, if we go over here, you can see that I have a couple conversations pinned. If you want to pin a conversation, all you need to do is swipe on it and tap the pin. It will automatically pin it right there. If we switch it over to normal mode, this is kind of how it looks on iOS 14. It's a lot bigger. When you do get a notification, it will kind of glow, which is nice so that you can see that you have an unread message there. But it's a super simple tweak to give you an iOS 14 feature for 100% free. Anyways, guys, go ahead and check out this one. It's called Pin. This next one I have for you guys is called Fast App LS. And basically what it is is a lock screen shortcut. So if we go onto my lock screen real quick. Oops. So as you can see, there's a little gadget right here. If you go ahead and tap on that gadget, it'll bring up your apps that you have pre-selected. So you can just go ahead and tap on any application that you want and it will automatically open up to that application. Just a super useful, super simple lock screen tweak that will allow you to get to your applications quickly. There's two different styles. I prefer the big circle than over the half circle style. You can also adjust the positioning of it. You can have your camera hidden, your flashlight, your IP address, all of that good stuff. Basically, if you just go over to app selection, you just select what applications you want. And then when you go to your lock screen, there'll be this little gadget right here. You just go ahead and tap on it and pick whatever application that you want and it will automatically take you there. Anyways, guys, that one is called Fast App LS. 100% free. This next tweak I have for you guys is called Covert CK. And basically what it does is it allows you to hide messages so that you can do clandestine activities. So I just hid that message. Now if I search for it, it will not show up in any search or anything like that. Can't find them by name. So if we want to get to that hidden message, you can just type in show covert and it'll automatically pull up all of your hidden messages. If you want to hide them again, you can type hide covert. Then it brings you back to all of your unhidden messages. You can also just do a double tap hold on messages and it will also pop it up, double tap hold, and it'll bring back your unhidden messages. It's basically just for all of you cheaters out there that want to hide your side chick from your current chick. But anyways, guys, this one is called Covert CK. It does cost a dollar, but it can be very useful for your clandestine activities. All right, guys, that's the video. If you guys want this wallpaper, it is linked in my Twitter. If you guys want this widget right here, this is using Zen HTML. It is called Moon Neon, M-U-N-E Neon. But if you like the video, go ahead and feed the YouTube algorithm those like buttons. Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.